in this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, you're one to talk. This is kind of a sarcastic phrase that we use to kind of make fun of someone when they're being critical of other people, but they are doing the thing they're being critical of themselves. That sounded a little confusing, let me explain. If I was eating a donut, and if I said to you as I ate the donut, huh, those people eat too much, and I pointed to some people across the street, you could then say to me, you're one to talk, you're eating a donut. If I was to say, people in the world should eat healthier food, and then I started on my second donut, you could legitimately say to me, you're one to talk, to kind of make fun of me, because I'm judging other people, but I'm doing the same action myself. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase, look who's talking. This means exactly the same thing. The two phrases are identical today. Well, that is a loud truck, eh? Let's have a look at that. A big truck full of chips. People eat too many chips. And then you could say, look who's talking. As I sit at night and eat a big bowl full of chips while I watch uh, a basketball game on TV. That was kind of timely to have a chip truck go by. It's hard to believe a whole truck is, is just full of chips. But anyways, to review, you're one to talk or look who's talking are both phrases we use to kind of make fun of someone when they are expressing an opinion that they are guilty of themselves. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Constantine. Great time, Bob. We say free cheese is only in a mouse trap. Our mowing season is yet to come, but we're getting our trimmers ready too. And my response, I like that phrase. I'm going to start using it. Yeah, free cheese is only in a mouse trap. That's related to my uh, lesson the other day about uh, how there's no such thing as a free lunch. So I'm just out in town. Oh, by the way, Constantine, thanks for that comment. Uh, I'm just out in town. Uh, once again, pop out of work. Uh, I guess I could show you things like this. This is a sketchy alley, which you may have seen in a previous video. Uh, behind me though, is a really old building. I'm not sure if that building is going to last. I don't know if it's going to be torn down. This whole area here, let me get you a, a little bit better look at it. Let me spin you and let me cross the street safely here. We'll look this way and then we'll look this way. Look safe, here we go. This whole area here, um, there was a sign up here that they're going to build something here. I don't know if they're going to build some houses or if they're going to uh, do, do something else, but I think this building, this old building, did have a little yellow sign in the window, which usually means that it's going to be uh, torn down. So usually in Ontario, Canada, if they're going to tear a building down, especially in town, they have to tell everyone so that you have time to complain about it. So let's say I loved this building and if it was scheduled to be torn down in a year, there would be a process where you could write letters to the town to kind of say, hey, I like that building, please don't tear it down. Or uh, my friends and I have lots of money, we'll donate it to the town to keep that historic building open. So again, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if it's going to be torn down, but uh, I do think I remember seeing that little yellow notice sign in the window a couple months ago. So maybe that process is over and it is going to be torn down. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short little English lesson and uh, I'll see you in a couple days with another one. Uh, as you can see, I have my winter coat on again. The weather just doesn't know what to do here in Canada, I guess. Anyways, bye.